Hello, this is Rick. Many of you will already be aware that the Hanger 9 brand of tacking irons, which I've used and many others have used for removing the uh, spine ticks in comic books, have been very difficult to obtain lately. And I've put forward an effort to uh, obtain a different one that, and also make some improvements if I could at the same time. What are some of the drawbacks of the Hanger 9 product? One is it gets too hot, especially for modern books, where it'll leave a of a dull spot on the, the cover if you leave it too long. Also the shoe on the device is, uh, it's flat and it loses heat quickly. If you just wave it in the air and you're monitoring the temperature, it cools off very quickly and then takes a few seconds to heat up again. And it's just not steady at all. So it's hard to determine how much time or how many strokes you need to use to to get out the tick. It, it's, it's sort of uneven. It also didn't get in as many places. It wasn't quite as round and flat. The edges were a little bit sharp. So I tried to buy some different, uh, source some different products that might do. Oh, another another problem is you, you couldn't really set it down. I didn't have a way to set it down easily without burning your fingers or without setting on something to burn it. So I tried to fix it. The first thing I did was try to make my own uh, end like an insert of a shoe for the Hanger 9 product which has a round tip. I'll show you a couple photos here. And it was nice because when you open up the cover especially you can get really close to the inside of a spine tick on the bottom and it didn't cool off as fast. Nice, It was nice and rounded so it didn't have these sharp edges. That's one thing I did. The other thing was I sourced a different <clears throat> tool and I sourced this one here. It looks like this. And I'll show you some photos too. They normally came in 220 volt, but I ordered some in 110, which is great because they don't get so hot. I'll show you a photo here. They only get to, between my test, they're between 135 and 160, depending on uh, how long you let it sit and what you're doing with it. But And they also have a very smooth shoe that's really huge. It takes a long time, about 20 minutes to come to full temperature, but does not cool off hardly at all. And I had these stands, uh, these little stands made so that you can uh, set them like this to keep them from burning you. So that's great. The drawbacks are there's no on and off switch just to plug it in or plug it out or unplug it. I mean, I could have put one in, I guess, but it increases the price way too much for what it is. These are very inexpensive, which is nice. Uh, there's a wooden handle, which is not as fancy as the nice fake light or plastic ones. And there's no, there's no on and off light to it. But, Anyway, I'll, I'll demonstrate how I used it. And I, by the way, this was the 12th, I believe, or 11 I didn't choose. This is the 12th one I looked at that I choose. Got a little, like a little uh, bath, a little crate full of these things that I've been trying out that I didn't like for one reason or another. And this one was great. It was cheap, it was good. It heated up fast, retained the heat, didn't scratch books. I liked it. So anyway, I'll show you an example of using it. And uh, the product is, uh, I have, about 30, about a block of 30 of them to put in my store now. And there'll be a link in the description. So anyway, I hope you liked the video. Uh, take care. Bye-bye. I'm going to try to catch these spine ticks in the light by tilting the camera a little. And they're very, very close to the spine. You can see those are the ones that are especially hard to reach. So we're going to take a look at these guys right there. You can see them. Now here's how I might use this by adding a very small amount of moisture to the exterior and interior of this cover is just barely wet. You couldn't, you can't see the amount of moisture. It's not shiny wet, it's just barely wet where I want to remove these. And I'm going to overdo this for dramatic emphasis here. I might, I'm going to make a, I'm going to end up making a little line in the cover that I'll have to press out with a normal press later. And that's usual and expected. So let's see. The first thing I'll do is take my tick attack board. You can see this guy here. If you haven't seen one before, this one's a little beat up and used, but it works well for me. Place it inside, kind of note where I put it. Usually the notch, you know, is right around the staple, or you can just use the non-notched part. Use a piece of silicone paper and I'm rubbing the outside where the tick attack board is here. And you'll see me rub that a little bit. And then I'll go to the inside in this particular case too, because it'll be just barely, barely visible. And so I'll pick the tick attack board on the outside of the book. And then I will rub this here on a piece of silicone release paper on the inside. And it will we'll make a little bit of a 
kind of a bulge out that I'll have to remove later. But pretty much instantly, without too much trouble, you'll see that these ticks that are really close to the spine are going to be a lot easier to get out without making a little permanent crease as you would with a regular kind of a hard-edged hot shoe. See the little crease I made there? That's easy to press out later. It's not a big deal. And then close it. And if you look, you'll see that spine ticks are gone. Usually it's couple treatments, so they're all but gone. Maybe there's some little wrinkles left, but that's the general idea. You'll have to sort of nurse it that way a little bit. Here's a real quick close-up so you can see the difference here versus before. And that's it. That's what it looks like. Here's a before and after of this book. These, these came as subscription books, so they were pretty mangled by the post office when I got these gold goblin books. But here's what I do. I just got it. This one I used to use a Kim wipe. It was slightly damp and I wiped it on the spine ticks and you can see they're numerous there. And do the, I don't know if I did this in the inside or not, but here's the tick attack board. Looks like I, I didn't do the inside. I, I commonly do the inside a little bit as well. Just very little. You can see it's not even shiny. I have a piece of my release paper. And then this just has a big shoe here. And it's not going to be quite as good as that little ball, that little hemispherical aluminum one for the inside, but you just rub it. I try to do circles or a figure eight. Sometimes I do back and forth, but I try not to because it sometimes can make a line or like kind of a obvious area there. You can see I wasn't pushing very hard. And here we continue with this tool. This tool is nice. I love that it doesn't get too hot. I don't have to use a potentiostat on it. It's got a big, big round area, so I don't worry about getting the corner on a piece of the book. And I'm just kind of moving around, trying to do it in a regular pattern. And you can also see it didn't take me very long. I didn't spend much time on this. It's really kind of easy when it has a really big heat sink for a a tip there so it doesn't get cool it, it works a lot better i like it it's really kind of simple honestly here's a video of the temperature of this item after it was on for 20 minutes it was not very warm honestly so that's great for our uses it doesn't cool fast either when you're using it which is another great thing and here's a photo of the after version of the spine you can see there's still a little bit of wrinkles there that we could probably get out a little bit but looks of course, much better than it did when we started, and so it works pretty well. So that's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have a good day. Uh, take care. See you later. Bye-bye.